I think it's finally time to go ahead and evolve our Gojo into Gojo Infinity. As you guys can see, I have all the materials required. We have the six eyes, the essences, and all the kind of stuff. So it's time to do this. I am super excited. I really do want to see how good this unit is because he turns from a mythic into a secret unit. So if we do our preview, we get ourselves 30% damage, purple, max purple, one new active ability, one new passive. Because of course, before it was really easy to max him, but he should be a lot more OP now as well, which is very awesome so let's just do this guys without further ado three two one and boom gojo infinity is unlocked Ooh. so we now finally have gojo the upgraded version as well Ooh. sadly my gojo still has like absolutely trash rules i'm just never lucky with trades it is what it is but we're finally gonna be able to check out gojo in its new maxed form so of course he's level 60 which is absolutely awesome so so of course the best way to test this guy we're gonna go over to the infinite stage on shibuya station before we do that I quickly want to give you guys some brand new codes because some new codes actually have arrived since the video yesterday so i'm gonna give you guys all the codes currently working so we have codes delay guards then we have source code update one after that then we have source code Shibuya. And then we have the brand new code. We curses have no limits. So use this code and boom. There we go. Another soup stat chip. Five re-rolls and a thousand gems. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and dive into the infinite mode and see how good Gojo actually is. Okay, we made a little bit of a starter setup. We got some slows down. So our Vegeta's down and we have our Gojo right here. So right now he's going to go into purple boom and then we're gonna get ourselves a void so ooh, i'm excited to check this out because we've not seen yet dead and then of course as well we're gonna get ourselves our eighth new passive so we need to get us twelve thousand, which shouldn't be any problem and there we go twelve thousand is now ready boom we have purple unlocked so now we get unlimited expansion gain the ability void upon activation gojo deals 50% more damage and all enemies in range are frozen for 10 seconds. Every kill while Void is active lowers the cooldown. Let's use Void. Wow! Holy! <laughs> that looks crazy! That is absolutely sick. And like, this is not even the max because we have max purple as well. Boom. There we go. There we go max purple wow okay what is the cooldown of that 10 seconds okay we used our ability as well to stop dogon it's so good like you're literally gonna be able to meld bosses and they can't move okay so now we have max purple on this one as well is it gonna watch with everything is it gonna watch with everything come on it does what that is so busted <laughs> That is so broken. Look at that. Okay, you just put these. You just put a Gojo at an intersection, and everything just explodes. Everything evaporates. That is extremely broken. Wow. You just put them everywhere. You just put one here, put one there, max them up, and you're good to go. Wow. Okay, that is extremely busted. I love it though. It's, it's not even the max, by the way. Like we can even upgrade even more. Let's save a little bit of money. I was uh, I'm putting down, down too many Gojos. Let's go ahead and max one out. Okay, so it seems that level this level is in the maximum 40k, 10 second cooldown. That is just crazy. Wow. Okay, this unit is OP. It's actually I think this is the first time I've actually been like, okay, this thing may be a tad too strong. Because what are you going to do against this? Like, like they, they can't do anything about that against this unit. It's actually insane. Okay, now we have three Gojo set up. We've set up as well as slow on every single one of them. Like, this is just going to be crazy. Like, there, what, what can these units do? There's nothing to go off. Like, literally, I am using three units, using some slows. And that's it. It's all getting obliterated. Uh, yeah, this, this unit is crazy. Of course, like, uh, even on this area, it's a little bit more annoying because there's going to be multiple exits for these mobs to come out of with the clone. But if you're playing, like, an earlier map, it doesn't matter. You just put three Gojos down and 
everything is just gone. And you gotta imagine, like, my Gojo has only, like, attack speed. It doesn't have any, like, mythic passive. It doesn't have any damage buffs from, like, Rin, for example. Like, there's so much you can do. And, like, 40k is, like, the bare minimum you're gonna have as stats, which is crazy. You can probably have, like, 60 or 70k in total. That's insane. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this pretty fair. I'm gonna delete absolutely everything besides these two units. I'm gonna go ahead and only use Gojos. I'm gonna max up all the Uliuses as well. So they, of course, can freeze as much as possible. And that's it. I'm gonna see how many levels I can make it through by only having these three units. And that's it. Of course, we have our uh, Takado Roda for some money. But I mean, like, just damage units is just gonna be these six. I'm just gonna see how far I can get. I think this will be final wave. Wave 44 with just three units is crazy. This, uh, this unit just heals way too much. It's just kind of super annoying always. But you can see there we go. Another like 133k. I don't really know why he heals. But it is what it is. But yeah. Wave 45 with three units. I'll definitely take it. Such a OP composition. Okay, one last thing I wanted to do before I end of today's video. I want to see if we can push our luck before... It all ends for today. So my Goju is extremely bad in the trades. So we have 12 rerolls. Can we finally get something good? It's gonna be the question. So let's just go ahead and press the reroll button. So okay, less than rerolls. Come on. Yeah, let's go, mother! Woo! Crazy! Oh my god, we got Gojo Monarch. Wow. Okay, that is insane. Wow, so Gojo now has Monarch's base damage 10k. Wow. So yeah, I would say this unit is a absolute great success. So much fun. So nice to use as well. Of course, we have our collection to claim. Give me my 500 gems. There we go. Now one moment look at Gojo Infinity. Ooh. Looks so, so, so good. Of course, we have more units to go out and explore. We have to get ourselves Jago involved as well because he has some ascension materials that we have for him uh, to grind as well. And of course, there's some other units to check out and max out. So I think to be honest, such a good unit. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you going to get Goju yourself? Do you already have him? Of course, uh, it's not the hardest, hardest thing, but it's just a lot of grind. And you need a good base of units to even try and attempt to get all the materials. So if you haven't enjoyed this video, I would highly appreciate a like down below. Guys, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. So guys, take care. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, as well, take care.